Hello, Monsters Abound here. Now, it's fair to say the last few years have been a wee bit trying, emotionally. A bit, a bit mentally exhausting. And so sometimes it's nice to play a game that's just relaxing. No one explodes. There's no jam. People's heads don't fly off. But despite that, I still quite enjoy this. So... This game's called Dwarf Romantic, and despite the name, there's no dwarfs in it, nor is it a small hairy person romance simulator. Unfortunately. Eventually we will get that game, and that'll be the high point of humanity's art. And at that point, it's all downhill from there. But until then, this is a game about placing tiles. And that's it. That's basically it. There's a bunch of different modes. I'm playing classic mode. Um, it looks like they added a bunch of new modes literally the other day because they weren't there when I tried. I, I just I I turned it on. I went to record. I hit game mode, and I, instead of two options, I had about seven. I was like, oh, well, that's changed then. So obviously, it's uh, it's still being updated. It's great. It's actually it's actually created by uh, a group of game design students in Berlin and it's about a tenner on Steam you can pick it up now it's got last I checked it was about 12,000 reviews and it was rated very positively so it's not that common on Steam all things considered so in classic mode you have these tiles you have 40 tiles we've got 40 tiles to play around with there and you start off with one tile in the middle and you've got some you've got some really nice chill music and so it's just a nice sort of like cell shady aesthetic, which is really nice. And you can basically just stick your tile wherever you like, basically. And you can, you can turn it around, something like that. Um, now, you can see this tile here, and you can see which tiles we have coming up. So we've got a little tile there with a boar on it, or a deer. Is it a boar? Deer? Who knows? Uh, another tile with like a field on it. And uh, this little tile has, uh, has a, little, has a little, little green tree there with 11 plus. And what that means is basically saying if we can link 11 other tree tiles with this one, then we'll complete it. And if we complete it, we'll get a few more tiles. But if we've got 40 tiles, if we run out of tiles, that's the end of the game. Although it gives you high score and there is also a creative mode. So if you're not interested in sort of playing a bit more gamey, then you can just stick some tiles down, copy tiles. Play. You can just make a really nice landscape. But I quite like a little bit more game gamified version there are some more versions as i said that would, would literally just been added some of, it looks like there's a hard mode a monthly mode where everyone gets the same tiles and you can try and get the best score against other people playing the game so it's chill but you can have a bit of competitiveness if you want anyway so we're gonna we're gonna stick a tile down and you can see if i put it here this little thing crosses out that's because you have to link other other bits of other bits of scenery on a tile by the edge they're on. So we can see here we've got this this tile only has tree against this edge. If there was a tree in the middle and a tree up here, we could still potentially link it if we had another tile with a tree. But if we put it here, basically there's no chance to extend this. So it, we basically can't complete it at that point. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick this like over here, like that. So we've got another tile. Now this one's got five plus trees on it. And this has trees on two tiles. So we can actually connect this to this tile here. And you can see this is fine because there's another tree on this corner. So we can actually continue this. So although we'll be blocking this off, this continues through. So as long as you continue it through from other tiles, it's still fine. So what we can do is actually put, pop that there. And we now have a tile with some field on it. So I'm going to put that sort of over there. And that wants three fields connected to it so I could put that one there and we have some more trees Now this one's a little bit more interesting because it got some trees that go all the way through to this side so we can actually link more trees over to this this tile here and we also have a little house as well so I'm gonna pop that there that'll complete both of those and give me more tiles um, now what am I gonna do here so what I'm gonna I'm actually gonna do this so this doesn't connect it to anything, but if we get some if we get some field tiles we can stick in the middle there, then that'll be pretty good. So we'll go with that. Uh, we've got a lovely little lake tile here. I'm actually going to I'm 
Do I put this here? I'm going to put this. I'm going to put this here. We've got some towns as well, so I'm going to connect. Uh, you know what? Let's put you there. Okay, so here we have a big, big field tile. Lots of different fields on there. So we can sort of connect these up and uh, basically complete all of these at the same time. Look at that. Holy shit. Linking them fields together. Uh, a little little lake, little river tile. River tiles are different in that they can only connect to other water tiles. So I can't, for ex you can see I can't, I can't put it here because there's no way it could connect to another river tile. But I can put it here because it can connect to the lake. So I'm actually going to stick you like over here. And we've got big trees. Big tree tile. If I put you there, instantly complete that. I can instantly complete that. We've got some, a windmill that wants to be on some farm. If I put you there... That gives us a good chance of completing that one. This one's 101 trees. But if we put you here, it's it's eight. Only needs eight more. So that's okay. Uh, I'm we've got a little little railway track, little train on there as well. I'm actually going to put you now. It's it's always tricky with train tracks and rivers because if you put them in the wrong place, you can cut yourself off. So I'm actually just going to put you here, and I'm going to make a little town here. I think we're going to have a little town. Yeah. A lovely, lovely little town. Let's get some trees there. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm actually going to do something like that. This is nice, isn't it? Railway track. Um, let's put you there. So as you sort of like build, as you put down tiles, you kind of like build this really nice little landscape. And the way it's designed in that you have these like put things next to each other, but you also have two other types of, I guess they're quests, objectives. The other is that you connect a certain number of things together. So it might be like seven fields. So you can't connect eight fields, but you can connect seven fields. So you then have to be a little bit more careful about because, for example, if I connected it like, you know, if I connected something that said I want 50 trees and connected to this, there's too many trees connected to this. And so it would overload it with trees, too many trees. So you, you kind of get, I wouldn't say pushed, sort of gently led is probably a better way of putting it. Gently led towards creating these quite pretty little landscapes. I'm going to put you there. Yeah, yeah. And something like that. Good. And this is just... It's just very... It's the kind of game that I, I tend to play when I'm, I'm trust... I'm like, so, you know, I'm obviously a dad. I've got Oh, big score. I've, I've got a toddler who doesn't go to sleep until about nine o'clock now. And come come nine o'clock, I'm usually tired. I'll be honest, I want to go to bed as well because I'm old. And I, I usually have as a small amount of time I can play games in the evening. Usually around half an hour. Now, I... <sighs> I don't have the time to play big in-depth games. And I don't really, you know, at that point in the evening, I don't have the mental energy to, to play something really sort of like in-depth. I just want something that's just going to give me a little bit of me time. And I have been playing this because it's very much a game that you can just kind of relax with for a bit. Good little trains going now. Off he goes. Uh, I could. Oh, that'd be the worst train track in the world. That doesn't. That goes nowhere. Literally nowhere. Um, I'm going to put you over here instead. I think I've decided. So I've kind of been picking this up just for, you know, an hour, half an hour, something like that. Oh, look at that. And just, just having a good old time. 
It's like building a little, little town. Enjoy. I, I like my water features. I'm big on my water features. So I quite like this. So we've got like a little forest over here, a little town, some fields. Uh, so, so this one wants just eight. Eight fields. That's all it wants. So I'm going to put you over here. And I could put you over here, couldn't I? So that'll complete you. Uh, let's help you out over there. We'll fill you. Is this going to be enough? So I can connect you up. Um, we can connect you up. That works. So this is my sort of evening relaxation game that I've been playing at the moment. I will say that I got this, uh, I got this game for free. Got it off key mailer. I think they actually sent it to me. I didn't ask for it. They just like chucked it at me and went, here, try this. And uh, not gonna lie, glad they did. Oh, I do like my lakes. My little, I've got Metropolis here. Look at this nice, nice little town there. Uh, I need four. And that is not going to do it for me. So let's do something like that. Little river there. This tile connects railways and rivers, which is a bit of a flex, but it's fine. Sure. Sure, why not? Now we've got two trains. What happens if they run into each other? Oh my god. It's bloodshed. It's absolute carnage. Ah! No, that's fine. It's just pass for each other. I, I did figure that was probably what was going to happen, but uh, you can never be sure. Uh, yeah, let's do something like that. I like it when it says perfect. <laughs> Not going to lie, it's, uh, it's a big pat on the back for me. I'm going to have a nice big lake here, I've decided. It's like the Lake District, which I've never been to, but I assume has lakes in it. Hence, the, I mean, if it doesn't have lakes, then that's frankly false advertising. It's bullshit. I'd be surprised if it didn't. Kind of, you know, wh why would you bother? But then a lot of places in England have really stupid names, so who knows? Yes. More trees. That's what we want. More houses. Yes. Lovely little addition to my... Uh... Can we do something like that? Yeah, okay. Okay, I need more fields, really. But... You know, you kind of zoom out and you kind of get a good... It, it just kind of like starts coming together. And it just looks really nice. Now, there are hidden tiles out in the edges here. If we build towards this, we will uncover a tile which will have a little objective on it. And if we complete that, that will then give us a new tile to play around with. Which is nice. Give it a little bit more extra variety. So you get things like, uh, you know, planes with boars on them or something that just add a little bit more variety to your to your landscapes good unlock that what is it who knows it's a new biome i think uh so we can complete that one over there that's fine let's pop you there Yes, I, I like this big lake that's that's coming up. This, I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying my lake. I don't really want another river to ruin it. Like, tell you what, I'm going to put you there. Maybe this is the edge of our lake. Who knows? Do we want to do something a little bit, you know, maybe something a bit bigger? Um, right. Connecting up that train track might be a bit of an issue, but I'm going to build this way to get uh, this doom a hickey. But at the same time, I kind of want to just, like, fill out my fields, so I'm going to do that. For no reason. Just because I want to. Yeah, we do. We do want more trees. Uh, we've got some town there, but it's 19 houses. So this is where we potentially want to sort of 
maybe make a new new housey place. We can connect those two together. So we've now got Metropolis and Newtown. Newtown only wants two more houses, so I need something which is going to add two more houses because otherwise it's too many houses. I think this is too many houses. Yeah, three is too many. They just want two. They're NIMBYs. They don't want people building in there. Not in my backyard, they're saying. You want... Okay, that's fine. We can add you to Metropolis. That's, again, too many houses. Yeah. Bloody NIMBYs, eh? Fucking what are they like? Absolute scallywags. Uh, let's put you there. Oh, you... Well, uh, uh, would you have worked? Okay, there's one house there. If I put you there... Oh, 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 but I can't... Oh, wait, no, I could do this? No. Okay, you go that way. More trees there. Again, that's too... They just want the one more house. So I can put you there. Uh, I've got a weird string of farm... Of, uh, yeah, fields out there now. Oh, we've got one house. Okay, so I can put you there. Okay, new town is happy. They are chuffed they've just got their little i might add new i, add, I might add more houses to them while they're not looking they'll never, they'll never know what him yep we can do that nice let's add you down there good and a little lakeside property there look at this look at this we've got a new maybe lake town down here arch rival of new town Like, I should be building towards this tower here, but it's fine. I've got more important things to do. Do I add, like, I'm going to add a nice big water feature in the middle there for, again, very little reason. Who knows what I'm doing here? Now, you want 102 houses, which, oh, actually, you, you, you only want 30. You only want 13 more, so actually you work quite nicely there. Um, I could do a little... Yeah, okay, that works. And again, I, I, I need. whenever I get more houses, I need to stick them over here, like now. Okay, so we've uncovered a little bit of what that is. Looks like... Field? No, trees? Maybe... We'll have a look in a sec. Let's put you over there. Uh, no, not a lake, not a river, because if I put a river over there, it'll be a bugger to try and extend it. So, let's do that. And... Okay, it's like field. Okay, so if we put some fields around here, and we just happen to have... Uh, be picking up a lot of field tiles for some reason. Not that I'm complaining. Extend our trees over there. That would that would be an absolute travesty for, for Lake Town to have a big old lump of land right in the middle of them. That's not happening. Okay, you just want two more. So we're just connecting up. We've still got 35 tiles, which is plenty. So, I mean, look at this. Isn't this nice? And it just, like, started with one little tile over here. And as time goes on, it just expands into this, this lovely little landscape. Which is very nice. It's very pleasing. Uh, that is... No, I want, I want a full water tile. Anything less than a full water tile is... A corruption of my vision that I have. So it ain't happening. Okay, you won't like that. What about Lake Town? I reckon we can get a nice a nice big boost for Lake Town there. So we can add some more there. We can add some more there. And then 
just want to expand. Could I hook you up to this? Hmm. It would be tricky. Potentially possible. It's going to be tough getting it all connected up. Well, I think it can happen. So this is basically what this game is. It's just, just putting tiles down. You see, we've got 26 tiles, so we can carry on doing this. But there are a bunch of additional modes. So you've got the tutorial, which I'm going to be honest, the game's not that hard, so I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, classic mode, that's what we've been playing. We've got creative mode as well, which is basically classic mode, but you don't have the tile numbers. And you can also just like discard tiles. You can put a tile down like this, and then you can like delete tiles or copy them and put them down again. So this gives you absolute, absolute control. Which is, if you want to build just a, a really nice landscape, you can just do that. That's an option. You've also then got quick mode. So there's a quick mode allows for a short, snappy round of dwarf romantic. Trying to beat the high score by collecting as many points as possible with a limited number of tiles to place. Interesting. Hard mode. Play a more difficult version. Fewer quests, a steeper difficulty curve, and more complex tiles. A monthly mode, which offers a new configuration of custom rules and a fixed seed each month. So if you want to, you know, compare your game against other people playing the game, that's the option. And then custom mode, where you just can make up your own rules. So it really does just give you full control over what you want to do, as long as it's putting tiles down, I guess. It's just nice and chill. If you want some relaxing tile landscape building, then I'll check out Dwarf Romantic. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.